What's up, savages? My mechanical arm swivel thingy came in yesterday. They sent it to the wrong address, so now I am happy. But I do have a robotic penis basically staring me in the face. So without further ado, let's take a look at it. <laughs> well, you came out of nowhere, my friend. How are you today? Huh? Uh, I don't have the boom mic cover yet, but that's going to be coming soon. So you guys won't be hearing like the clicking and all that shit anymore. It's a thing of the past, baby. It's a thing of the past. So, what are we talking about today? Well, I am talking about my critiques on the Season 2 of MLG's League. Now, I know a lot of people are going to sit back and say, Oh, well, who are you to critique that? I'm like, well, I've casted more matches than just about every single person, period. Like, I've been, <laughs> I've been casting it just as much as the players have been playing it, with the exception of a one match every single night. And that's my first critique. Now, I don't want to get into uh, the critiques without saying all the positives. So... Number one, was the league a success? Yes. Players are making money. People are always tuning into it to watch competitive play because they know the matches mean something. And all the teams are playing against each other. They're playing search. They're forced to basically get a little bit better every single day. Or else they drop down in the ranks. Amazing. Okay? Absolutely amazing. So, did MLG's idea work? Absolutely. Absolutely. I still think the subs were kind of cheesy, but uh, I think on the whole, yeah, the idea worked well. It worked really, really well. So now I am going to talk about my critiques. Critique number one. Now, I was a professional player, and I hated online more than anyone. If you play a console FPS, you know how just awful online is. There's there's nothing good about an online shooter. <laughs> there just isn't. Yeah, yeah, you're getting practice and stuff like that, but it is so frustrating. So I imagine being in a league that determined if I could get to play in the pro bracket at an event where my income is based on and I had to play three matches every night, I kill myself. You know, back, back when I used to play, it was like a best of 11. And I mean, everyone knows before the league, everyone basically played, you know, best of sevens, best of nines, maybe. Sometimes best of 11s versus other teams. And then they would get on and play eights. Like they wouldn't, they wouldn't play multiple best of five game series. Now I understand why that has to be done, but I think we need to cut out one. One, reason one for making it two matches a night instead of three. I think the most important thing here would just be sleep man like there's so many times if it goes to game five and game five and game five and then there's joining issues because sometimes you know the xbox one doesn't like you and that makes me want to go insane but there's times where that happens and then you know the players aren't getting off till 3 a.m yes finally it is summer but you know for a while their methods it was like 16 he would be like oh man another late night i'm gonna have a shitty day tomorrow at school like the last thing you want to see is a little little bulldog face methods and sweatpants and like a t-shirt with like a like a gamma lab stain on it and then like a cellucor stain and then in the middle it's just like sweat like on his shirt going to school you don't want to see that man like that's not even cool to see so two 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 matches a night i think the players would be able to rejuvenate a little bit better and you don't even have to make it a best of seven. Just make it two best of fives, and then this gives them time to actually practice and things of that nature. Now, this is the part. Oh, God. I got a bug bite on my leg. My God, that feels good. That feels so good. Now, here's the, here's the part that makes the most sense to me, and I hope other, other people like agree with this because I think it would be amazing to see. Obviously, you know, who am I, right? Like, who am I? I'm an opinionated douchebag who just sits on behind a webcam or an actual camera at the studio and I play Hearthstone and I cast Call of Duty. That's it. That's all who I am, right? Like, I'm not saying I'm anything special, but I think this makes insanely good sense. Now, if your income, let's, let's all follow me down this line here, right? If your income is based on performance, okay? Like, yes, there is some teams who can basically make money off of streaming and make a decent living with that, okay? But not everyone does that. Not everyone has that ability, okay? We all have to accept that, right? Normally, the top teams are the ones who are getting the more viewers, and they're also the ones who are guaranteed to make money, period. So, if your income is based on event performance, right, the last thing you want to do is have online become a factor on your income. So, how do we work around it? MLG, as we all know, they do four series versus every team. So there's 12 teams in the league. 
11 series, so there's a total 44 series played, right? Now, how in the world can we make it? So, you know, like it's even remotely fair for the teams to make it in if they have a shitty online connection. I mean, look at TK. TK is a team who most likely won't be making it to Anaheim Pro Bracket because they suck online. Like, you, you, TK should never be in that scenario, man. Like, ever, 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 ever. They're an amazing team. I mean, they played with Mad Cat like two fucking days, and they came in, they got top eight at <laughs> Niagara. Yeah, it was on the 360 and all, but still, like, you never want to see that from a team. So, what I think should happen for season three, like, if I had it my way, if this was Burger King, I would want to see one entire series. So... 12 teams, 11 series total, get played out on land. Now, what would you need? One, well, MLG has a studio. We have a studio. You can do an event. You can do whatever the hell you want. But you bring them out to a studio. You don't even have to bring them out. Just give them a stipend or tell them at the beginning of the season that you know, you're going to be going to New York to be playing 11 series. Okay, It's very important for you. Everyone's going to go. So the 11, the 12 teams come out, they go to New York, they're all pumped up, they want to go to Manhattan, Sex in the City, Friends, whatever else TV shows happen in New York, I got no idea, but they all go out there. So there's 12 teams at the MLG Studios, what does MLG need? MLG, well, they have one stream, they need a second computer with the webcam to do two streams, so now you need four casters, you have Fwiz, you have Pucket most likely Benson, and then you bring out another caster, probably Revan. There you go. So there's your four casters. You have two streams, and you probably, you need to have, you need to have three stations. So MLG basically needs 24 TVs, 24 Xbox Ones, 24 copies of Ghosts, and what did I forget? Xbox Ones, Ghosts, monitors, chairs? Yeah, they need chairs. They definitely need chairs. And then two streams, four casters, right? So now what happens is these teams can actually battle out. They can battle out right away for their spot in Anaheim, right? So, like, even if we go to, like, you know, the COD competitive Reddit, you can see that if teams could play just 11 series, just 11 series, like, 11 series on land, you're going to have a completely different income or outcome, excuse me. Teams like TK. They could very easily come in there and go 8-2 and two on the weekend, right? A team like Denial, right? Like, what the hell is going to happen with them? No one has any idea. They're really good online. Really, really good online. And I'm not taking anything away from them. I watched fucking Legend, I want to say it was, use a goddamn Lynx last night. Rewind. Reset. He used a fucking Lynx. One of the guys on Denial used a goddamn Lynx. Yeah, that's it. So, I have no idea what to expect, but I'll tell you what. You put them all on land, you give them 11 series to play, I think you have a more consistent outcome. So, those are my two things. So, how that would work would basically be the teams. All right, so this is, if I were to do a league taking into consideration MLG's thoughts, I would do it like this. Because, obviously, MLG wants these players to stream on their platform. That's a no-brainer. Everyone knows that. So... There's no need to mess around with it. Oh, getting my gullet. So, ready. I would do this. The teams play three series, or they the teams play 33 games online. Okay, period. 33 series online they play. The final series is done on land at the MLG studio, where MLG has two streams. They have... They have two streams, they have four casters or six casters, whatever the hell it is. They have four casters and then you have players on the outside. Hell, to be honest, dude, you can get away with two casters and use the players. Just fucking milk them. I don't care. I just want to see things happen on land because I think it's kind of a joke that there isn't. So, 12 teams brought out. I don't care if the teams have to pay their way or not. I think the teams would be willing to pay their way if it meant that they could play 11 series on land. They play 11 series on land at the end of the day. On Sunday night, it is done. You then have your teams 
that are getting ready to go to the next event. Puckett can come on and go, hello and welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the eSports Report. I'm with my good buddy. Right? Like, he can do that. And then he can reward MVPs and all that shit. That's what should happen. Because that makes for an interesting show, right? Like, it's all done. Everything's done. And then everyone knows, oh, okay. So now what happens, right? Now the teams have like a week and a half off to do whatever the fuck they want before the next event. They can they can go to a LAN. They can do whatever they want. They can go to a team house. They can go to Optic. They can do anything. EG can go to Envy. Or Envy can go to Optic. And vice fucking versa. That's the shit that can happen. But you know what? It hasn't. And they can't because right now as it's set up, they have what, four days? They have like four days off. That is going to be my critiques on this. And other than that, I mean... I'm a big fan of the league. I think it works. I just think three matches a night is completely draining on the players, and I think the players can even agree with me. So if you are a player and you like my idea, do me a favor and drop a like and share this video. Other than that, I love you, but I don't love you. Take it easy. Yeah, hit that. But, oh, shit. So today, go into the gym, come back, eat, rewind, reset. Fast forward, moving forward, then it's Hearthstone. I'm going to go all the way to rank 10, so be there, motherfuckers. Twitch.tv slash GandhiMLG. You don't want to be a douchebag. Be there. Be there, be there, be there, be there.